Hey, it's Pastor Ray. Thanks again for watching Weekly Word. I appreciate you uh, tuning in each week. Hope you'll share this uh, with somebody uh, who might need a brief word of encouragement as they begin their week as well. You know, the Bible talks to us a lot about humility, but the problem is often humility is hard to recognize. <laughs> Jesus said that those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those that humble themselves will be exalted. The problem though is humility can be really hard to spot. Sometimes we see somebody who's very quiet. They, uh, they, they don't say much. They just kind of walk, observe, uh, and, and are very uh, to themselves. And we think, you know what? They are really a humble person. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe they're just intimidated, are jealous of others, and they don't say anything about it. Sometimes we see somebody who's very reflective. Uh, they know a lot of the good church language. They have a little bit of a piety about them. Uh, they kind of look at judgment a little bit with their eyes, but they're very reserved and very reflective. And we think, man, that's a humble person. Well, maybe. Maybe their heart is full of jealousy, anger, and strife, and you just don't see it. Sometimes we see somebody that is always putting themselves down. Oh, I'm nothing, I'm not worth anything, and we think, you know what, that's a mark of humility. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just somebody fishing for a compliment and wanting somebody to stroke their ego. Humility is hard to spot. In fact, humility, the most humble person you know, may be the person who's the life of the party. Because humility is not really about some kind of look on our face or some other stereotype about what it means to have humility. Humility really revolves around two things. The first thing that it revolves around is, is this God the ultimate authority in my life? Am I willing to submit myself to God and say, God, I want what you want, not my agenda, your agenda. Uh, not my focus, your focus for me. Not what you want, uh, not what I want, God, but what you want for me in my life. Is God the ultimate authority in my life? Is God the one who calls the shots in my life? In the words of the Lord Jesus, do I say every day to him, Lord, not my will, not my will, because I know what my will is, not my will, but your will be done. Humility, first of all, is a spirit, an attitude, that God is the ultimate authority in my life. Secondly, humility is where everything in my life I acknowledge is a gift of God. It's not a, a result of my scheming or my planning or my wisdom or my ability. Everything good in my life I recognize as the hand of a good and a gracious God. Not something I deserve, but something out of his love and his tenderness. That God not only loves me because that's his nature, he, he must love me because he created me, made me, and he says God is love. But not only does he love me, but he likes me. And he has been good to me and good to you. Humility is when I acknowledge God as the ultimate authority in my life, and I operate and live my life that way. It's where I look at everything I have, everything, and I don't take credit for myself and say it's all me but I recognize it is all God. When we live that way, the Bible says that humility, those uh, that, that God resists the prideful, but that he gives grace to the humble. He embraces humility. I pray that humility is a part of our lives. And when God is the center of it, the center of my life and the center of your life, than it will be. May God bless you. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. One, two, three. And I praise the one who has overwhelmed my soul and forever changed my days. I lift the name the 
that lifted me from the grave. He is great, the strength that saves. So I sing hallelujah, hallelujah. captive heart free the poor and weak the blessed and the meek together we stand and sing speak to us arise and these bones will find new life in the glory of a son who died and rose for everyone there's a day when he will come and dwell sing hallelujah hallelujah forever we shout your name 